This is what we're starting with. We spread everything with pitchforks. Welcome to uh Right here, right? Got you on video, John. You're not working. All right. You stop right here, right? Or, or you want to put balls there? Uh, cover it to the where it gets to that corner. All right. Got a good glare. My boy Curtis. Starting to get some color in here. Getting a bit more done. Been here about 10 20 minutes. It's hard to get that glare off of it. Yeah, man. Hard to see we're in the shadows, but starting to look like something. All we gotta do is blow this side. Good work, fellas. Pop. I said, good work, fellas. Can we dump that right there? Yeah, we can dump it. Spread it out. It's so dark, it's hard to see my buddy blowing it. That's the Curbo, Brucey Doocy, Johnny Boy, and Joe Dirt. Driving the boss's truck. Oh, they're gonna beast it. Y'all killed them plants. Oh well. Pull on top room. Way to go all the way down here. I know it don't look too bad, but we're gonna freshen it up. With mulch, you don't wanna go super thick unless you're putting a new flower bed. Just like an inch thick. Yeah, buddy. Got a clean edge over there. Oh, covered up all the dead shit. Got Joe Dirt over there. Doing nothing. Busted. Yeah. Had to pull some dirt up against the building because it was uh, washing out. Don't want water to run up against the building. Oh, we're rolling along pretty good here. Been here about 45 minutes, maybe. I don't know, maybe it's not 30 minutes, but coming around the side here now. Short. Had to drop our load. Gonna go get some more milk. Starting to look like something. And we're off to get the most. These are you parking back over there. Place. It's called Gillies Creek. And they have got a lot of them. 
All right, I had to go in the office to pay for it. And uh, if you notice, we're underneath these uh, billboards because we're right, right down underneath the side of the interstate. Right. Show you when we get back to the mall. Headed down to the back. I'm glad that dump truck's here to give you a bit of perspective of how much mulch is down here. He's gonna fill that thing up real fast. Got the glare on my face. That bucket is awesome. It articulates perfect so you don't have to worry about hitting nothing. You lift it to the point you want and it doesn't go any lower than that. I mean, this is a huge loader. That's massive. That's awesome. This is a 450 and it totally engulfs this truck. He has to take little scoops to get it in there. And there's a lot of mulch. There's like six piles like this and it goes way back there. All right, I got my load all leveled out. He uh, mounted it up pretty high. I had to pitchfork it. And uh, I'm ready to tarp it. Like that. He got a little hand crank for the uh, tarp on this truck. And look at that mulch. I'm standing on top of the truck. That's a lot of goddamn mulch. goes on for days all right I'm gonna get this load up the road she's squatting just a bit mulch you can load the truck right slam down because uh, it's got a lot of air in it all right we got her working in low it's a heavy load That's a hard cut. What do you want from me? I guess I'll see y'all back at the job. Got downtown on my left. Already done working. Looking pretty good. I guess that's all I'm already really record. Got the truck loaded up and get some more done around the back. And uh, basically just blow the rest back, the excess back off the curbs. And uh, don't put too much mulch down. And looks pretty good. This is, this is not dyed mulch, this is just plain hardwood. That's, that's it. We use dyed on some projects. Uh, it tends to last longer the color does this is gonna fade a little bit as it's wet right now It's gonna turn a lighter brown as the moisture comes out of it But it looks good, and it's a lot m less expensive than most people use the dyed But uh, it's a lot more expensive almost twice as much So this is just Jose 